Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Alright, well today we're going to do a Keyshot 6.1 video and for those of you who do not have Keyshot, you can get a trial or a student version for free and I'll put the link below. Alright, so I modeled a simple wheel in Maya and what we're going to do today is we are going to create an emissive light band, kind of an LED effect. Okay, so I'll just uh, load my image, file, import image and wheel there we go and import and what I did is I created a simple color map in Maya so we're gonna add some metal to this yellow color we're gonna add some rubber to the red and the blue we're gonna make that emissive okay so let's start by creating some materials we're going to go down to, uh, let's see, under plastics, we're going to go to soft and rubber. There we go. We're going to add that to our tire. Then let's see, we're going to go back up to mold tech and we'll give the tire some structure. Let's do the pebble. We'll add that here. Now the effect is kind of minimal so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our material under models and we're gonna go with our mold tech we're gonna go to position and let's see um, let's double click on it that works a bit quicker uh, we're gonna go to the mapping tool and we're gonna make sure we're at scale and then we're gonna left click and drag on that cube there and just to give it a bit more structure, we're starting to get there. There you go. Then we're going to switch to Chrome for our wheel itself. And what we'll do is we'll use a basic Chrome and we'll add that right there. And then for our emissive band, we're going to go to plastics we're going to go to hard plastic and rough and we'll take this color and add that right there and then we're going to go into the color properties and for that we'll double click on it and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the properties we're going to change plastic to emissive like so and then we have the opportunity to increase the intensity so let's bump that up to about 32 okay and already you can see a bit of the effect there then we're going to change the background we're going to go to a uh, let's see if we can find a nice dark environment let's try this factory setting here Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Let's see if we got something that looks even better. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to render this guy. We're going to go to render settings and then render. I'll just call this wheel JPEG and I'll save this on my desktop. There we go go to the highest value in presets. I'll pause the video, hit render, and see you guys in a sec. Well guys, here's the end result of our render. As you can see, it turned out okay. And uh, you know, the topic obviously is this uh, emissive blue here, and you can see that it's shining nicely. So you can use that technique for all kinds of things, uh, for example, for LED lights or whatnot, all right? Cool, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.